Hey everyone, it's Lynn. Just wanted to tell you the year-end umpire awards are now open. Vote for your favorite or maybe even not so favorite umpire and a whole bunch of categories in between your favorite ejection, best crew chief, etc. Okay, on to the teachable. Not every play develops the way we expect, and that's what we're talking about in this teachable moment. Brought to you by Dax Randy and the gang at OutWest Officials. Trip Gibson doesn't abdicate his responsibility when this play goes sideways. It's a simple ground ball to the third baseman with runners on first and second in the ninth inning. You're just looking to get out of here already. Get me to the postgame spread. And Brian Honora has a fair ball over the base and a touch of third. And then the throw to first base, it's high and wide. Like a Jets kicker in a big spot, it misses the mark. However, there's a first baseman in this case to catch the ball and try to touch the base which Reese Hoskins cannot do. But what we're focused on in this particular play is Trip Gibson. He starts in fair territory, expecting a routine soft out call, and ends up with that dreaded double whacker. What do we mean by double whacker? Well, is the first baseman's foot on the base when the ball touches his glove? And does his foot get back to the base before the batter runner touches first. A lot going on in what should have been a very simple play. So the key to look for here is Trip Gibson moving with the first baseman. He's reading that foot of the first baseman. And when that foot goes into foul territory, the foul side of the base, he gets to a keyhole spot where he can see whether or not the foot gets back to the base in time. Now, ideally, we don't want to be moving on this play, but sometimes there's just nothing we can do. This throw is way off the mark. It's high. It's up in the air. The first baseman does a great job just catching the ball, but cannot get back to the base in time. So as we look at this play, you'll see the focus of Gibson. He is looking at one thing and one thing only, and that is the foot of the first baseman. He is in the perfect spot. It never engages back to the base. Then you have a safe off the base, and that is easy to miss if you don't adjust from your starting position. So go with the play, go with the flow, and be like Trip Gibson and get calls right. Visit us on the World Wide Web at www.closecallsports.com. Visit us on the socials at Discord, Facebook, and Twitter at Close Call Sports. And until next time, always do what's right, not what's easy. Happy umpiring everyone.